Well, I was working on Peak 9 that day, and uh, I heard that there was an avalanche, and they asked for uh, volunteers to be calm leaders. So uh, I volunteered, and I went over there. And uh, when I got there, it was a huge avalanche that was, the debris was pretty much all across the bottom of the bowl, very deep. So uh, it didn't look very encouraging from the first first impression. Um, that year, we knew that the snow was unstable out there. We had posted warning signs uh, there, quite you know, extensive signs, big signs that told people what the danger was. Uh, and I think there was kind of an attitude that they weren't, you know, people thought it was safe or that we were being uh, being too cautious or something. It was. It was at least a four, a four and possibly a five. I have seen it run bigger since then, maybe once. But it was a huge avalanche. Um, when you see that amount of debris piled up at the bottom of the bowl and realize that there's people buried in there, it's kind of discouraging because your chances of rescue are pretty slim. The first of the two skiers that set off the small slide, which set off the big slide, he lives in Frisco, he's a good friend of mine. He's talked freely amongst um, the patrol and, uh, you know, the two of them were in a safe spot when the second guy came down and kicked off the small slab. They were on a safe rocky bench and they heard all the screaming below them um, and they looked up and nothing was going on so they came around the corner and saw the entire mountain gone so they were instrumental in uncovering uh, several of the four people that were uncovered right away. It was pretty emotional just the idea that where we had I wouldn't really call it pioneering because other people had skied there a long time ago but we were the ones that started going out and skiing it a lot and of course then by the time this avalanche happened there were on good days there would be hundreds of people going out there. We used to go out there and we I have movies that was hiking at the top skiing down and then taking an hour lunch coming back up and there were only two tracks there that's uh that's about where the access was and people would get off the t-bar and just traverse out and then they'd go through that gate there's that big billboard sign warning people of the hazard out there but most people that were going out there didn't really know much about avalanches or didn't realize the hazard Two skiers that hiked to the summit triggered the summit snow field. The weight of that snow coming down onto these lower slopes, even though they had had quite a bit of compaction, was enough to cause the whole slope to fail all the way down the ridge. Mm -hmm.